Welcome back, folks. Today, we're going to make the first of five different tequila cocktail videos. From margarita variations to other agave-based drinks that you've probably never heard of before. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing for more drinks and memories. Let's get ready for Cinco de Mayo with the 5 for 5 deal here with Liquid Memoir, starting with the Paloma. Let's get behind the stick. The Paloma is a drink that may be built right in the glass. It calls for tequila, fresh lime juice, and grapefruit soda. I only have ting right now, but that'll work. The Paloma's history is a bit obscure. It's often credited to a man with the name of Don Javier Delgado Corona and his little bar La Capilla in Tequila, Mexico, which also in tequila is the birthplace of the tequila spirits. Don Javier also created a drink called Batanga, which is a Cuba Libre riff, but with tequila instead. He was famously known for stirring all his drink with a knife. I actually had the pleasure of being served by him back in 2015. He unfortunately passed away this past March in 2020. Well, you can make this drink like I did just now. I want to show you how I make the Paloma when I'm behind the bar. Let's get to it. Next time you're at a bar or if you have all the ingredients to make this version at home, give it a try. You won't regret it. Saline solution binds ingredients together and adds a bit of salinity to the drink. It'll make this perfect to enjoy outdoors. I like to keep the lime juice component of this drink the same as the classic, but I change it up with the addition of homemade cinnamon syrup. This will work fantastic with the grapefruit. But in order to enhance the grapefruit flavor in this drink, I like to add about a quarter ounce or 7.5 mils of grapefruit liqueur. I'm using Giffard Pamplemousse. It's delicious and it'll enhance even more the fresh grapefruit which we're using instead of grapefruit soda. One ounce or 30 mils adds enough freshness and grapefruit flavor to the drink. As for the tequila, I'm using Fortaleza Blanco. This one is one of my favorite Blanco tequilas in the market. This small distillery is located in the town of Tequila in Mexico. They cultivate their own agaves, they're also one of only about six of all tequila distilleries that use a Tahona mill, which is this huge Flintstone-like stone that is used to crush their agaves after being cooked. Their bottle and labeling is also handmade. Fun fact, the cork of this bottle represents an agave. Once we got all of our ingredients ready, add ice to your shaker, Grab a chilled highball glass, also add ice to your glass, and give it a good hard shake. This time around, you only need a quick shake in order to incorporate the ingredients and cool it down a bit. Before we strain the cocktail, first, I'm gonna add a bit of seltzer water straight in the glass. Then, I'm gonna strain the cocktail. I need to top this off with an extra splash of seltzer. Then serve with a straw and optionally garnish this with a slice of grapefruit. And there you have a Paloma. Salud! Let's give the drink a taste. Wow! That is really good. No wonder why a lot of people, when they order a Paloma from me and I make it, people simply cannot have just one. The cinnamon grapefruit works really well together. The saline adds a little bit of complexity to the cocktail. This is really refreshing. 
I wish I was at the beach right now. But that's gonna be it for me. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more tequila based cocktails in this 5 for 5 deal. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe, share with friends, and I'll see you all the next one. Cheers. People just can't. All right, so I have everything ready now.